Hugo, uh, congratulations on what you've done in The Dressmaker. Thank you. In watching you play Sergeant Farrett and you get this package or box delivered and then you say, I'm a policeman, I want to see what's in here and you get to the dress and the look on your face, to me, they're the kinds of roles that actors dream of doing uh, and, and you seem to take to it like a duck to water. You must have loved it. Yeah, it's a, well, it's a great moment because Farrett's uh, sort of pretending... He's act- Farrett's really thrilled that Tilly's come to town, but at the same time, he's anxious because it might reveal his own secret. He, he, he's thrilled that she's a dressmaker because he's a dressmaker, and uh, he, he, he hopes to make a good friend of her. But he also knows that he sent her away many, many years before. He, had her, you know, he was the one who actually took her out of town. Uh, and that moment is where, yeah. He, so he moves from being being the long arm of the law to being a man completely enraptured by the feel of some of beautiful material, and he loses loses himself in company. And so that's kind of a great moment. When uh, when Jocelyn and the girls decided they wanted you, did you jump at it, or did you have to think about it? No, I, I was very keen to work with Joss again. Um, so many, many years ago, uh, I was in Joss's first film, Proof, which was a real treat for me because it was the first film that I was thrilled about. That I had done a couple of films before, but this, that was the first film that I'd read that I was so keen to be a part of. I thought the writing was, was absolutely... Uh, well, it was just really smart, uh, got a great quirky sense of humour, and she's a... She's a She's a gorgeous person, Joss, so I was very keen to work with her again. Did, um, did you like the cast choice they made? The cast choice? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's, just, it's an absolutely yeah. astonishingly good yeah. cast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, See, the story, as written in a book, doesn't you, d- you don't think of it as a screenplay, but I reckon they've crashed through that barrier of making it really commercial, a story yeah. that might have been almost boutique yeah. because of the way they did it. And because they exploited the topography of Kate Winslet quite well, with yeah. the and everything, and then all the little, all the little subplots. Uh, yeah. uh, in watching you, I thought you must have loved doing this. This yeah. must have been a character role you absolutely loved doing. Yeah, it was, it was, it was wonderful. And I think for all of us, uh, they're, they're all great characters because they, they're, they're recognisably Australian types, but they're also specifically grounded in a particular time and place. And they've all got their own secrets and they all uh, put up a certain front. Um, but at the same time, so you're asked to go to a quite a real place, but at the same time, they're, they're pretty grotesque types too <laughs> at times. And so as actors, we were all asked to you know, realise part that this, the particular style of the piece meant that we were going to go to Spaghetti Western uh, m- massive <laughs> smash close-ups uh, yes. at certain dramatic moments. Yeah, so yeah. you were kind of... Uh, um, I think that was the that was both the scary part of it, uh, just finding that tone, but also the, the exciting part of it uh, from, from an acting point of view. Any actor aspires to be offered big roles in big movies. You've had that. Yeah. And, and uh, y- that must have given you the ability to pick and choose your scripts because sometimes actors do things they don't like to do. I notice you you weren't exactly enamoured with Transformers, but hell, the good thing is that if people don't watch a movie much, they don't know you've done it. So yeah. it's almost like you can pretend... Well, no, you the, the, the odd thing about Transformers and yeah. and uh, was that for me, actually, I, I uh, it, it, it was, it was, it felt like a voice job and I did yeah. do it on one, one Saturday afternoon. It took about an hour and a half to do it and I was doing a play at the time and... Uh, so it kind of was a it was an odd one for me because I, uh, I yeah that was a, that's a, that's a very unusual one and um, and it, it, that's probably one of the few things that I probably you know feel well maybe I shouldn't have done that but uh, <laughs> but but just just be, just because I I don't believe that actors should do things unless they're really kind of committed to them and I and um, yeah but anyway. I, uh, yes, I think it's very important to 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 go with a script to to make instinctive calls on on, on something. You've yeah. made a wonderful contribution to Australian movies, and indeed, glo- most of the movies we make now, of course, are global. And the girls were telling me earlier that they've sold this film in about twenty one countries, which you have to do. You've got no choice. Yeah, you must be very excited about where the Australian movie industry is right now. 
Oh, look, it's a very, it's a, it, I'm, I'm always thrilled when Australian films do, do well, and I'm really glad to hear that this has been sold so, so widely, and I think it deserves to be seen. I think it's a great, uh, it's a great film. Um, um, yeah, I, I always want uh, Australian films to be seen more here, uh, and there's something about our culture which is seems seems unbelievably. Uh, wrong-headed that we that we don't want to see our own stuff and I, I mean we do but it's but it because we we love we love reading our own stories and watching our our own stuff on tv but some there's some weird block uh, that we have we we still feel like other people's cultures are more interesting than ours and well we you, still you've had a you've added a wonderful eccentricity to this film that's given a breadth i was with the preview the other night with people that are not movie buffs mm. They didn't really want to see the film, and they loved your portrayal. Mm. And I'm not surprised, because it was delicious. You, you had to laugh. You had to empathise with the character. Mm. So what happens now? I guess you promote this, people go and see it, they love it. What then? Well, I, I think you just keep, as, a, as an actor, you like looking out for the next interesting script and you know, reading things all the time. And um, I've been doing a lot of theatre, and you just, yeah. keep, you just keep on sort of trying to find the next interesting thing and maybe have a break, go and plant some vegetables and tr <laughs> trees up in the country. Yes. And spend time with the family. Well, I, I think you're to be congratulated on what oh, you've done for you the entertainment much. business. You've really contributed so much to, uh, to Australian culture and to the arts, and I, I think you've more than boxed above your weight, and oh. congratulations. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you.